Now, with the situation uncertain in Ukraine and the threat of an invasion potentially looming, several countries have issued travel advisories for Kiev. The latest is the Indian Embassy in Kiev, which has issued a travel advisory for its nationals in Ukraine. India has advised all Indian students whose stay is not essential in the country may consider leaving temporarily. It also advised Indians in Ukraine to avoid all non-essential travel both to and within Ukraine. The Indian Embassy said that it continues to function normally in the country. This follows a similar uh, statement. The U.S. Embassy in Ukraine has also issued an alert advising all U.S. citizens in Ukraine to immediately leave the country using commercial or private transport options. The notice warned that conditions may deteriorate with little notice. The notice further said that U.S. citizens may now enter Poland across the land border with Ukraine. And it is not just Ukraine. The U.S. issued a similar warning for Belarus, telling U.S. citizens in the country not to travel due to the risk of detention and concern over Russian military buildup along Belarus's border with Ukraine. And for more on this, we earlier spoke to our principal diplomatic correspondent, Sidan Sibyl. Listen in. cautious stance by New Delhi. Uh, of course, uh, India is not a major stakeholder when it comes to the situation there. And New Delhi's priority is the 20,000 Indian nationals in the country. Most of them are students doing medical education. And India has uh, uh, been briefed by both Russia and United States over the situation uh, in Ukraine. And of course, the Russian buildup uh, as well. But by and large, uh, uh, India's uh, uh, big worry will be if there is any kind of escalation in Eastern Europe, in Ukraine or any Russian invasion of Ukraine, two things will happen. First, of course, energy impact uh, the prices of petrol and diesels will increase and that is a big worry for uh, India and the other of course is that this will be a major distraction when it comes to dealing with a, a very aggressive China in the Indo-Pacific. China in fact can use this as an opportunity to be more aggressive in the Indo-Pacific. It has already had a lot of troubles with India and other countries in the region including Taiwan. With video journalist Neeraj Patel, Sidhan Sibul for Vion in New Delhi. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.